I want to tell you a story about one of my earliest recollections as a child. This is my grandson, Will. And how old are you, Will? Three. Three years old. And that's how old I was. My sister had brought home chicken pox from school. And I was just a little fellow. I caught the chicken pox. But the worst of it was my dad caught chicken pox. He'd never had it. And uh, we just lived in a one-bedroom cottage. And my sister slept in the living room. I was on a little cot in my parents' bedroom. So my dad was right beside me. Well, he got it terribly. He got it on the back of his throat. He got it on the whites of his eyes. And uh, and so he was uh, really in bad shape. He was uh, delirious some of the time. And during some of this delirium, he began to think about two brothers, the Linen Bank brothers, that he did business with down at the city of Niagara Falls. And he didn't believe that he had been faithful enough in sharing the gospel with them. And he could imagine them in hell. He could see them in hell. And he was writhing in agony and longing, if only he had been more faithful in sharing the gospel with those brothers. Well, I was just a little fellow. And I was watching my father go through this. And it was so astounding to me to think that here was my father, the man who was my hero. I was admiring him, and here I was watching him go through this agony. But I tell you, even as a little child, I had impressed on my soul the tremendous responsibility of sharing the gospel while I had time. The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 9.16, If I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yes, woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. And you know, this is where we all are. We need to be in a situation where we have before us all the time the fact that the people we bump into, the rub shoulders with every day, they are everlasting souls and they're going to dwell forever somewhere. So even though my family was very active in the gospel, my parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. This impressed on my little soul, just as a little child, that my father was so serious about getting the gospel while he had time, and that there were people today that we could witness to that maybe tomorrow we couldn't. So may the Lord inspire us, encourage us, even from our earliest days, to realize we're here on a mission. Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. <laughs>